Inside the latest edition of SVG Sports Tech On Demand, we are speaking with CIS Group, and we are, have the pleasure to speak with their CEO, Matt Silva. Matt, uh, great to see you. Hope you and everyone at the company and your loved ones are doing well. How are you hanging in there? I know you mentioned you might be in New York, so hope you're doing okay. In, in, indeed, Brandon. I'm, I'm, I'm hanging in there, man. You know, it's uh, crazy times for everybody. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm based in New York, and as you, as you can see in the news, it's, uh, it's been a little, a little hectic over here. But we're, we're hanging in, and thankfully, you know, everybody is uh, safe and healthy, and, and I hope the same with, with you and your loved ones. Thank you. Appreciate that. And good to hear that about you. So uh, tell us a little bit about what you guys have been up to. How has CIS Group needed to respond and change anything of what they do uh, to meet the needs of your clients, especially when it comes to sports related ones? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, so a lot of our, a lot of our clients, um, you know, didn't see this coming. Nobody, nobody could have, right? So it's, been, it was a pretty immediate response that, that, that we had to be ready to, to kind of, um, you know, take forth for, for, for our clients and, and, and be there to support them. Essentially, a lot of what we've been doing is, is really around the, the remote production space, um, you know, because most companies have kind of closed their, their physical offices. And, you know, as a result of that, a lot of their teams are working from home and they don't have access day to day to, you know, their, their systems. And, um, you know, we've put together a lot of remote production workflows for a number of our clients, um, including, you know, some, some of the, the folks over at the, at the Miami Heat down in, in, in Florida. Mm -hmm. um, and, um, and, you know, it's been, it's been interesting as we've worked with them a lot historically and a lot of their stuff has been um, on, on prem and, and now it's a, it's a really interesting uh, you know, scenario where we're all being forced to look at these remote production workflows and, and really we've been, our main focus has been being there for our clients in terms of remote services and, and, and support. Yeah. How much of this is an acceleration of an industry trend you are already seeing and how much of this is new? When you look at this decentralization uh, and the move to remote-based and cloud-based workflows, uh, what are you seeing in the industry and how this is moving along? Yeah, so we're we're actually seeing quite the uptick. Honestly, um, our our sales force and and pre sales force has been really getting crushed with some remote production requests. Mm -hmm. um, and and look, I, I tend to think right um, that there's been this concept of why mess with a winning team mm -hmm. um, historically. And you know, while for the better part of you know five plus years, um, a lot of companies in our space have looked at uh, remote production workflows, cloud based workflows, and and all of that. There has been some level of resistance to, to adopting those workflows at, at scale. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I think that this situation is kind of really, for lack of a better term, forcing our hands and, and, and really kind of um, exploring that mass adoption, right? And, and I think that that will ultimately only serve to accelerate that trend um, exactly because people are witnessing firsthand what some of those benefits can, can be both operationally and, and technically. Yeah, for sure. Uh, now, obviously, this is a time of the year where we see a lot of new product announcements, a lot of new partnerships struck, yeah, but with a lack of trade shows for us to have that at. Uh, anything new about the company that we should know about or maybe some surprises still up your guys' sleeve? Yeah, absolutely. So um, we're actually planning on, on, on making some pretty exciting things right around mid-May. Um, okay. that, that are really going to position, you know, CIS to, to, to be there for our clients long term um, as it relates to these cloud production workflows and, and, and remote production workflows. Um, and, you know, that there's more to come there. And it, but it's going to be what I can tell you now is it's really a uh, services driven business segment of, of our company. And um, we're partnering with, with, with some really cool, um, you know, technology partners and consulting partners in, in, in making that initiative uh, and taking that initiative to market. All right. Very cool stuff. We will definitely keep an eye out for that. Keep us in the loop when that comes around. Uh, but otherwise, Matt, we, we really appreciate you taking the time. Thanks for everything you're doing for the industry. And uh, we wish you guys nothing but the best going forward. Okay. Same here, man. I appreciate it. All right, for more of everything going on here at the Sports Video Group, visit us online at sportsvideo.org, including more from the CIS Group. Uh, we appreciate Matt Silva, CEO from the company, joining us today. Join us later for more.